Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, you'll learn how to get started with Google surveys. Google surveys let you conduct market research. You can ask people a series of questions and then review the results. You can create Google surveys that are displayed to people as they browse third-party websites. You can show surveys to people using the Google Opinion Rewards app on Android, or you can create a survey that is shown on your website. Okay, let's get started. First, I want to show you how to run a free satisfaction survey on your website. This is the default website satisfaction survey. It's limited to 500 responses per month, and you can't edit the questions. Let's select the Sites drop-down on the right. And let's choose New Site. We can now configure our free website satisfaction survey. There are a few options. First, let's copy the code. We'll need to add this to our website in a moment. On the right, we can see a preview of the survey. There are four questions. The first question asks people if they're satisfied with the website. The second is an open-ended question that asks people to tell us about any pain points. The third question asks people why they're visiting the website. And the fourth question asks if they've found what they're looking for. We can't edit these questions, so if you want to adjust the questions, you'll need to run a paid survey. OK, then there are settings that let us adjust who will see the survey and how often. I'm going to change the first survey timing so that the survey is only shown to people who have viewed at least two pages on the website. And I'm going to leave the survey frequency as the default. I'm going to leave the publishing state set to enabled. This will mean that once we've added the survey code to our website, people will begin to see the survey and will start to collect responses. We can also control how many people are shown the survey. This is set to 1 by default, which means that everybody will see the survey. If we set this to say 2, then 50% of people will see the survey. There are some additional settings you can adjust, including how long to wait before showing the survey, domain filtering, which lets you show people a survey based on the referring domain, or how they found your site, and how long to wait before showing someone another survey you're running. I'm going to leave these, and I'm going to click Update Settings. Now it's time to add the survey code to our website. Today I'm going to use Google Tag Manager to add the survey to my website. So let's head to Google Tag Manager. And let's add a new tag. Let's name the tag Google Survey. And let's select Tag Configuration and choose Google's Website Satisfaction tag. We need to enter the site ID from the survey code. You'll need to look for the value of the site query parameter in the code. This is after site, equal sign, and before the first quote marks. Now let's select triggering. I'm going to select the all pages trigger so that the survey is added to all of the pages of my website. Now let's save the tag. and publish the changes. We can now head to our website. Once we've met the criteria for our survey, we can see we're prompted to take the survey. But what if you want to show your own questions in the survey? We'll need to create a custom survey. So let's head back to Google Surveys. It's important to note that we do need to pay to run a custom survey. So if you want to run a free survey that includes your own questions, you might want to consider using Google Forms. You can learn more by watching my Google Forms tutorial. I've included a link in the description below this video. There are three steps for creating a custom survey. First, we need to write our survey questions, 
then we need to choose the audience for our survey, and finally we need to confirm and launch our survey. OK, let's create a new survey. And let's name our survey. I'm going to enter Website Survey. Now we need to enter our first survey question. I'm going to ask people two questions in this survey. I'm going to ask a yes or no question and an open-ended question. I'm going to enter my question, which is, did you find what you were looking for? And I'm going to enter yes and no as the answers. Under Question Options, I'm going to select Display Answers in this order. This will mean the possible answers are always shown as yes and then no. If you are asking a different question with more options, then you might want to choose Randomize Answer Order, so that the possible answers aren't always shown in the same order. This can prevent answers being skewed, for example, if people are more likely to select the first possible answer. You also have the option of using a question to screen respondents. For example, you might choose to only show people the next question if they select a specific answer to your question. For our website survey, I'm going to leave this option deselected. Now let's add our second question. We need to choose the type of question we want to ask. For our website survey, I'm going to add an open-ended question that lets people type their own answer. So I'm going to select open-ended. However, we can see there are a whole range of questions we can use in our survey. Options include letting people select multiple answers, answering a question using a scale, questions that include images, and even asking people to watch a short video. I'm going to leave open-ended selected, and I'm going to click add question. And I'm going to enter my question, which is, how could we improve? Now let's continue to the next step. It's time to choose the audience for our survey. We can see the options are general population, Android smartphone users, and your website. Since we're going to be showing the survey to people on our website, let's select your website. Selecting general population will show your survey to people as they're browsing third-party sites. For example, people might see your survey on a news site before they can read the full article. And selecting Android smartphone users will show your survey to people using the Google Opinion Rewards app. Now we need to ensure our website is selected. Since we previously set up the free website satisfaction survey, we can see our website is already available. If you didn't see your website, then you can click New Site to get the survey code. We need to confirm our audience. And now we can enter how many survey responses we want, and how often we want to run the survey. I'm going to leave the defaults, and I can then click Start Survey. Finally, let's look at creating a market research survey that's shown to people on third-party sites. Let's create a new survey. Let's name our survey Market Research. We're going to start our survey with a screening question. This will let us narrow down who will be asked additional questions in the survey. Let's enter, have you ever used Google Ads for advertising? And let's enter yes, no, and I'm not sure as the possible answers. Let's select display answers in this order. And let's enable screen with this question. Now let's select yes for our screen in answer. This will mean only people who select yes will be asked the other questions in our survey. Now let's add another question. Let's choose Rating Scale, and then click Add Question. Let's enter How easy is Google Ads to use? And let's enter Very Difficult and Very Easy. Let's add one more question to our survey. 
let's choose multiple answers and let's click add question. Let's enter what types of campaigns do you run in Google Ads. And let's enter our possible answers. Let's choose randomize answer order. Let's select include an open-ended text field so people can enter other options if they choose. And now let's click continue. We're going to show this survey to people as they're visiting third-party sites. So we're going to leave general population selected. And we have the option of refining our targeting for the survey. When we're happy, we can click confirm. Since we're using a screening question in our survey, Google will run a test to determine the pricing for our survey. So when we're happy, we can click Start Test and we'll be notified when we can start our survey. That's it. So that's how you can get started with Google Surveys. Remember, if you have your own audience who you'd like to survey, then you can create a free survey using Google Forms. To create a survey using Google Forms instead of Google Surveys, check out my tutorial in the extra resources below this video. However, if you're looking for an easy and reliable way to conduct market research, Google Surveys is a great solution. Are you going to run a survey? Do you have any tips you'd like to add? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.